In this video, we'll be going over the use of the RigTech bag, the rope bag, and the use of a D-handle tool. As the crew walks up, determine your fall line. Determine where you'll place your anchors and how your vehicle is placed. Go ahead and pull out the rope out of the front of the bag, which will be used for the rescuer. And at the bottom of the bag will be used for tying off the equipment. This will aid you with the new equipment, being able to tie off both the rescue tool and the rescuer to the same system. The rescuer is going to prep his area with a prusik and a carabiner, giving himself a jumper. The other rescuer will prep the double-ended D-handle tool with a carabiner and a bowline with a retrace. The rigger is going to make sure that the strap is being utilized correctly by clipping into the tri-link. The clutch will be then connected and rigged with the lifeline. We will not be utilizing throw bags to put through the clutch. Once the rope is connected to the back of the rescuer, you want to make sure you give yourself approximately three feet of a jumper to make those final adjustments when you get down to the bottom. This will prevent the rescuer from going into the water. Once the clutch has been rigged, you want to put it in the standby position and test that the rope is weaved correctly. Placing the rig tech bag under the clutch to prevent it further damage from banging up against the ground. Making sure all the rope is pulled out so there is no slack. Once the rescuer feels good, he'll be then lowered into the hazard zone. Once the rescuer is ready to be lowered, the person lowering will have the left hand on the clutch and the right hand on the brake line. The rescuer will drive his weight into his feet, leaning forward all the way down. It will be wet and slippery, so making sure you have good footing. When the rescuer says he's at a good spot, the clutch will then be locked off and tied off so the person operating the clutch can step away. From this point in time, if the rescuer needs to make those fine-tuned adjustments, he can then utilize the jumper. Using the tool, you can extend your reach out into the water. Talking to your victim, let him know to hold onto the handle. The rescuer will then let go of the handle and the retrieval team up top will walk down, capturing the victim, utilizing the hasty chest harness to ensure that the other rescuers do not fall in the water. Once the rescue is complete, you will then move over towards the rescuer and bring him up. When the rescuer is ready to come up, the clutch will be then untied. The rescuer will get into position, keep his weight driven into the ground. Top side will get in line with the rope and pull upwards. This is a progress capture device, so if the rescuer slips on the bottom, he will still be captured. The rescue is now complete. 